How did I get a balloon? It, it fills it up. Hey guys, welcome back to Incredible Science. Today I have another cool video for you. It involves balloons and it involves hacks and science experiments. I hope you haven't seen these before. I found these to be pretty cool. Comment below, let me know if you like them. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let's get right to it. First one involves a bottle of soda. Now we're gonna fill this cup just with a balloon. First you need to make a hole in the bottle. So I'm gonna use my blowtorch. I'm gonna turn it on, that would help. And poke a hole in the side of the bottle. You hear all that fizz come out? Crazy. Now just take a straw, get it in there. Now, when you put the balloon on top of the bottle, the air is gonna come out of the balloon, push its way down in the bottle, and the only other place for it to go out is through the straw. And it's gonna carry some soda through the straw into the cup. All right, ready? Let's get this going. Let's get the balloon on top. Now, the more air you put in the balloon, obviously, the more soda will come out. Check it out, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, I'm missing the cup. It fills it up. The balloon fills up the soda. Make sure you're, you placed it right. Now just, if you want to stop it, just hold on to the balloon. Really cool. Let's do the cinematic version. For this next one, guys, this is cool. This is a fun trick. You could win a bet with this one. It's, it's impossible to do unless you know the science behind it, unless you know the little trick that I'm gonna show you. See, if you put a balloon in a bottle and try to blow it up, you could be the strongest person in the world. It will not blow up. It will not work. You'll pop your lungs before you get this blown up. But with a little simple trick, you can put the balloon in here and watch. Take a bottle right now in a balloon and try to blow it up. You won't be able to. But watch this. I nearly filled the bottle with the balloon and I could still go more. Watch. I filled up nearly the entire bottle with this balloon, guys. I didn't expect it to fill the whole bottle. And you, Or you could fill it up with water. You could actually have a water balloon in here. Check this out, you go over to someone and ask them, how did I get a balloon in a bottle like that? They, they, they will have no idea, but let me show you the trick. It's cool though, because when you open it, watch. It's in there, but you could actually tie it. You could tie the balloon, you could just have a balloon in the bottle there. Just tie it up and, and just, there you go, there's a balloon in here. All right, here's how it works, guys. When you try to blow up a balloon inside a bottle, it won't work. Why? Because air takes up space, and if you're trying to fill up the balloon with air, the bottle's already filled up. There's nowhere for that air to go, so you can't fill it up. But if you place a hole in the bottom of the bottle and make sure not to cover it with your finger, when you blow up that balloon, the air in the bottle will get pushed out the bottom of the hole, the balloon will be able to fill up, and that's the trick. But this next one is really cool. I'm gonna show you how to make your own fog ring launcher using a bottle and a balloon. Let's do it.
All right, guys, and that is how to make smog rings, smog rings, smoke and fog, smog. All right, guys, and that is how to make fog rings or smoke rings. That's what happens at five in the morning. You call smog, smoke, and fog, smog, and smoke. All right, and last but not least, I'm sure you guys have seen this one, but here's how to make sure a balloon doesn't pop even when you put a flame to it. Here's a lighter. That was a weird pop. Do it again, a faulty balloon. And here's fire. It should pop it. There you go. Now here's a balloon with water in it. So, it's not supposed to pop. Let's see what happens. It's not, it's just getting black. Oh. And that's what happened, guys, when you take your eye off the flame. I was looking at the camera to make sure I was getting it, and the flame moved to where the water wasn't. I'm gonna do it again and just make sure I focus on the water in the balloon. Not popping. And we live to tell the tale on this one. Guys, what happens if you take a nail or a screw and put it to a balloon? Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that it'll pop. But what if you take 100 nails and put it to a balloon? Watch what happens. All right guys, and now I'm gonna show you how to pop a balloon with just using an orange peel. You might have seen this before, but it's so cool how it works because it seems like nothing touches a balloon and then it just pops. Let's take an orange peel off. This is like a clementine, so I hope it'll work. There's a chemical on the outside of an orange peel called limonene that'll break the balloon. Let's try it. Wow, it worked. I'm always so surprised when it works because it seems like nothing's touching the balloon and it just pops. It's crazy how that happens. All right, let's do it one more time. Wow. Now remember, it's the outside of the orange peel that you want to squeeze onto it, not the inside. It's not the oranges, it's not the oranges. There's a different chemical on the outside of it. All right. Now that my heart's racing back to a normal, let's get it back to a normal place. Let's do our last experiment of the day. Give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Share this video. Let's get to the last experiment. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna show you how to make a pocket little mini launcher. at how far this flies. All the way back here, loading up the pencil. I'm gonna shoot it right at the camera. This thing goes far. Did you hear that? It went so fast. I don't even know if you guys saw it, but definitely works. And the coolest part is you could store your own little ammo in there and then just close it with the cap. And you have your portable little ammunition container. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, click notification so you're, you're notified whenever I post a video, but just between me and you, it's 4 p.m. Every single day is when I upload. Give this video a like, go on over to my vlog channel, subscribe there, and I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Leave a comment, click like, love you guys. Peace, stay incredible.